Hey, I'm Natasha with the Jersey City Face Shield Project. This tutorial is for the simple Jersey City Face Shield design. Step 1. Download the files. The download includes PDF files to print and cut by hand, or SVG files to use machines like Cricut, Silhouette, or laser cutters. For the simple shield, you'll need the simple template and the headband template. Note that the headband template is the same for both the simple and the covered design. Step 2. Make and trace the templates. If you're using a Cricut, Silhouette, or laser cutter, skip to step 3B now. First, print out the PDF templates onto cardstock or thick paper and follow the instructions on them. For the headband template, cut out all the shapes along the outer edge. You'll end up with two A pieces and two B pieces. Tape the A pieces together along the straight edge. Then repeat the same thing with the B pieces. Cut out the simple design template. Align the two template pieces along the straight edge. Use tape to connect the two. You could use a quarter inch hole punch, but if you have an eighth inch hole punch, use that to punch out the holes. If you are using the standard quarter inch hole punch, be sure to use the dotted circles on the template. Step 3A. Cut out the Duralar. Place the template on top of your piece of Duralar and trace around it using a Sharpie marker, including the interior holes. Use scissors to cut out the shape you just made. Take care to trim smoothly so that there aren't any sharp edges. Using the hole punch that you have, punch out the four holes. Take an alcohol swab and remove any Sharpie marks that remain on the plastic. Step 3B. Cut the headband template out of cardstock or thick paper. Use your machine settings for the type of material you used. For the shield template, if you're using a laser cutter, use your manufacturer's recommendations for cutting Duralar plastic. If you're using a Cricut or Silhouette cutter, these are the settings you'll need. If you've hand cut the plastic, skip to step four now. First, let's look at the Silhouette. Open the design file in the Silhouette software. You will need a 12 by 24 inch cutting mat and make sure your material size is large enough to accommodate the design. In the Send tab, select the design and click Cut. Choose a blade depth of 3, increase the force to maximum, and set the speed to the minimum. Then, choose 3 passes and you're ready to go. Now, let's look at the Cricut. Upload your design file into the software. Select it and add it to your canvas. Select All and click Attach. Click Make It. You will need a 12 by 24 cutting mat and it will adjust that for you. Click Continue. To make a custom material, click Browse All Materials. Scroll to the bottom and click Material Settings. Then scroll to the bottom again and add a new material. Name it dot .007 Duralar and click Save. Change the cut pressure to 350 and multi-cut to 3x. Choose the fine point blade and click Save. Search for your material and click the star to make it a favorite. Now you're ready to go. Step four, drilling the headbands. Wear eye protection for this next step. Moving slowly and carefully, flatten the headband on top of template A. Use a Sharpie marker to mark the holes. When releasing the headbands, use both hands and let it slowly bend back into shape. <laughs> the headbands will try to jump at you, but you can hold them down, it'll be okay. Repeat this on template B. Now you're ready to drill. Flatten each headband again onto the stage of a drill press and drill the holes using an eighth inch bit suitable for plastic. Move slowly while bending the headbands and again make sure you're wearing eye protection just in case the headbands snap. When you're all done, headband A should have four holes and headband B should have six holes. Step five, assembling the shield. Place headband A with four holes on the outside of headband B with six holes. Align the headband holes with the holes in the plastic. Insert the zip tie through the shield plastic and the two headbands from the outside. Pull the zip tie through and insert it back through the other hole. Guide the plastic around the headband and repeat on the other side. With everything in place, close both zip ties. Using a nail clipper, trim off the excess. This will create a rounded edge that isn't sharp. Step 6. Adding the band. Using a rotary cutter or scissors, cut the tourniquet band in half long ways and width ways so that you end up with four nine by one half inch pieces. Thread the end of the tourniquet band through the hole in the end of the headband. Then tie a knot or two to secure it in place. 
Repeat on the other side. Congrats, you made it. Your new face shield is ready to wear. I hope that you found these designs and tutorials helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know and also check out our other Jersey City Face Shield project tutorials. Thank you.